So we're going to get started, and I'm going to start by introducing myself, and then Aaron will be next. Again, I would like to thank everyone for coming, and um, I'll get started with an introduction. So my name is Rhonda Savane, and I have been a nurse. Well, first, I want to tell you guys to get a pen and a paper so you could take notes, because definitely there will be something that Aaron and or myself will say tonight that you probably don't know. So you want to take notes and um, we'll play a game later. So as I was saying, my name is Rhonda Savane and I've been a nurse for 33 years. I've been an LPN for four years and an RN for 29 years. Um, throughout these 33 years, I have successfully started five businesses, which one of them is not in operation anymore. That was in 1991. It was a daycare center. But as of now, I'm currently running four different businesses. So um, Aaron and I had talked about doing a presentation a while ago, and we just never had a chance to do it. So I'm grateful that we were able to come together now to put together a little presentation to discuss mental illness and, and foods during the holidays as we approach Thanksgiving season. So um, what is a life coach? In addition to being a registered nurse, I'm also a life coach. And what a life coach does is we help to support we help to encourage, we help to steer you forward. So one of the major differences between a life coach and a therapist is that a life coach starts where you are and we help you to proceed forward. Whereas a therapist, and Aaron can elaborate a little bit more, works with your past. So if you have past traumas of abuse or any type of distress, or if you have any type of mental illness, you will see a therapist. If you have different hurdles that you've been trying to overcome years and you several years and you just feel like you're stuck then you would see a coach so specifically i deal with seven different areas i deal with autism parents of autism and special needs children i deal with cancer i deal with career development i deal with hospice patients i deal with medication management nurses and nursing students and i also deal with single parents so and, and business development. So if you have a great business idea and you've been sitting on it for like five years, this is like the perfect time to reach out to a coach like myself to get your business started. So not to talk too much about me, I wanna dive right into some information that I wanna share with you tonight. And on my PowerPoint, it says, this holiday, watch your mask, M-A-S-S. So I want you to write on your paper, in case it's not big enough, mass. And the first thing we're gonna talk about, we're gonna jump right into it, and I want you to watch your meat. So I have meat here for you, and I'm gonna read it for you. And one of the things it says on my meat is free cage, free, free range. So I'm gonna suggest that you stop eating meat. Definitely you should not be eating pork and beef. They're not really healthy. But if you decide to eat chicken, turkey, try to get meat that says no antibiotics, no hormones. So it says it on here. I'm not really sure if you could see, but it says no antibiotics, no hormones, right? So that is going to be important. And it also says free range. So that means that the chickens allegedly were not living on top of each other and eating feces. They were free range chickens. So now I have some ground turkey for you. And again, this ground turkey, it says no preservatives and no hormones. So that's one of the major reasons why people are getting sick is because the meat has preservatives, it has hormones, it has antibiotics. So when you go to the supermarket, you want to look for chicken that says no hormones, no antibiotics. And if they don't have that in your supermarket, then you need to shop at a different supermarket. So that's your first M. Remember our mnemonic is mass. So as a nursing educator, I just love nursing mnemonics. So for the holidays, we are going to watch our mass and the first M was for meat. So this is another meat alternative. And this you probably started seeing is known as Beyond Meat. They have meatballs, they have all different versions of it, but what you really need to look at that's important is that it says no soy, it says no gluten, and it says non-GMO. So another thing that's making us sick is that we're getting exposed to too much genetically modified foods. 
So obviously, if you go on the internet, they're going to say, this is good, this is not good, this is good, this is not good. So the information that I'm sharing is based on my personal experiences with different things in life, including battling cancer for seven years and being totally cancer free, as well as being a nurse for 33 years. So of course, you're going to do your due diligence, but I just want to share with you some things that helped me. So we're moving on now to our A. With the holidays coming up, our, our A is going to be alcohol, right? So as the Thanksgiving is coming along, everybody wants to drink, everyone wants to sip. So I want you to be really, really careful with your alcohol. So why do I say that? Because alcohol tends to make you feel really good. You know, you're laid back and everything is nice. But what you don't know a lot of times is after that good feeling, the rebound feeling is depression and anxiety. So what I have here is red wine. So I'm gonna say if you wanna sip, sip, maybe sip a little bit of red wine. Red wine actually has some properties that's good for your heart. So you don't wanna to do too much beer and too much hard liquor. You wanna occasionally sip on alcohol. The other thing that I wanted to talk about since we're gonna be talking about mental illness and abuse is if you are living with someone and they drink every day, I hate to tell you this, but they are an alcoholic. No one should be drinking every day. So they come home, they drink a beer. The next day they drink vodka. The next day they drink Bacardi. That is abnormal. So we really need to, and that's why Aaron and I are here, we need to educate people on these different things because a lot of people don't know. So a lot of times when people drink, then they start to get abusive. So they drink, they beat you up, you hug and kiss, you go to sleep, you wake up the next day and you think everything is normal. Guess what? That's not normal. That is dysfunctional, all right? So again, for those of you that just don't join, uh, my name is Rhonda Savane and we are talking about helpful hints for the holiday. Our mnemonic is mass. These are things we wanna be careful for. The first thing was meat, the second thing was alcohol and now I'm moving into salt. So this is another thing that gets us into trouble, especially African-Americans, because we use too much salt. So I'm going to suggest to you now that you start to use salt known as Himalayan salt or pink salt. So usually we always use iodized salt, but now I want you to use Himalayan salt. The disadvantage of using Himalayan salt is that it doesn't have enough iodine, so you may need to supplement with some seafood and or some other products with iodine. But in general, Himalayan salt is gonna be healthier for us than the regular salt that we're used to eating. So back to our mnemonic, put in my chat for me. The first M was for what? Quick, 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 because I'm an Me. educator and this is how I roll. The M was for what? What was the first Me. M for? I need you to participate. Me, the A was for what? Come on. Alcohol. Alcohol. And the first S was for what? Let's go. Salt. Oh. Salt. Yes. So now I'm about to tackle that next S. And I want you to reach out to me or tell me in the chat. Aaron, check the chat for me because I can't really see it. What do you think my, my S is going to be? Put it in the chat. Sugar. Sugar. Yes. Sugar. So let me talk to you about sugar. What we're going to do is we are going to get off of sugar and we are going to use xylitol. So xylitol is good for keto. Those of you that are doing keto diet, it is keto friendly. And the reason why xylitol is good is because it, dis it doesn't give you the highs and lows of your sugar. It keeps your, your level kind of um, maintained. So if you're borderline diabetic, you definitely need to get off of sugar and you're gonna get on xylitol. So just to summarize, we said for the holiday season, we are going to teach our family and friends to watch their mass. The M is for meat, the A is for alcohol, the S is for salt, and the other S is for sugar. And one more thing I wanna tell you before I introduce Aaron is that we also need to clean our colon. So this is a funny story and my mother is on tonight so she can testify to this. I remember when I was a little girl and some of my cousins are on here. Aaron is my cousin, so he can testify. All you knew is your mother would say, take this pill, drink this juice, and you know you would be on the toilet all day. So I don't know, as we got older, we stopped cleaning our colon. So in addition to the meat, the alcohol, the salt, and the sugar, you need to occasionally clean your colon because your colon is like a aquarium in a fish tank and you can't just keep it running 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 because it's going to get backed up 
So without further ado, I am now going to introduce Aaron Muller to you. Aaron is near and dear to me because he is my baby cousin. Believe it or not, I used to change his diaper. And I am just so proud of Aaron that he is a high profile therapist to, um, to the stars and to different celebrities. And for confidentiality, we cannot say who his celebrity clients are. But without further ado, I introduce to you my cousin, Aaron. Yes, thank, thank you, Rhonda. Thank you very much. And good evening, everybody. Welcome to Body and Soul. I'm excited to be here tonight to talk about, um, this is my ministry, um, talking about mental health and, and spreading the, the, the goodness of taking care of yourself mentally and being well. So as Rhonda stated, um, the difference between life coach and, and a therapist is that we really focus kind of on your past traumas. We focus on um, any kind of pathological um, issues you may have, and we kind of connect them to some of the behaviors that you have. So a life coach will kind of help you move forward. We kind of look at, and we help you move forward too, but we look at some, how some of your maybe depression, or anxiety prevents you from moving forward. So um, I'm excited to be here again, like I said, to, to kind of connect the two. Because what we talked about with Rhonda is just how, how mental health and physical health uh, go hand in hand. And it's very, very important to, to recognize how, um, how mentally, how your mental health can affect you physically. So one of the things that I want to, and I like to do tips like Rhonda, one of the tips I like to talk about is, um, and there's three tips that I want you guys to write down about wellness is eating well and sleeping well. Now, our grandmother used to make us take a nap all the time and I did not appreciate it that back then. <laughs> but, now, but now as you get older, you recognize the importance of, of sleeping well. So getting your naps in, going to bed at a decent time. And we talked about eating. What you eat, you are what you eat. So a lot of my clients, when, they, when, I'm, when I'm talking to them about how they're feeling, if they're feeling depressed or feeling anxious, I always ask them, so what's your diet like? What are you eating? Like, what do you consume? Tell me a, a, your basic um, day. And a lot of times there's a lot of high in sugar. Um, sometimes you're wondering why you're agitated. Everybody need, I'm not a coffee drinker, but everybody need coffee in the morning. If you're wondering why you're agitated and upset sometimes, sometimes it's that coffee that you have in the morning, especially with that caffeine in it. So you need to be mindful about what you are um, consuming. Because I used to drink Starbucks, the cold drinks, and it made me very, very anxious and agitated. And I realized it was the caffeine in there. So second is positive thinking. And positive thinking is very, very important. And one of the things I like to encourage is positive affirmation. When you wake up in the morning, do you do your morning devotion, whether it be morning devotion or prayer? In the morning time, that's how you start your day. And how you start your day is kind of how it manifests. So I encourage you to get a post-it note, maybe have it by the side of your bed and have something positive on that post-it note so that every morning you wake up is something that you see to start your day. And the third tip is a healthy support network. It's very important that you have positive people around you. If you have Debbie Downers around you, that is going to be how, that's going to affect how you uh, kind of think and how you feel. So the tip, eat and sleep well, positive thinking and a healthy support network. Okay, and Aaron, how long have you been a therapist? Oh, so, so all right, so let me do my introduction. So. Yeah, so my name is Aaron Muller. Uh, I have been a therapist for over 10 years. Uh, my wife and I started Life Matters Psychological Services in 2016, which we have served maybe over a thousand clients. Um, we serve the Afro-Caribbean and Afro-American community. Um, we provide individual couples counseling and provide psychological testing as well. Um, with COVID, is kind of uh, put a damper on testing because it's very face-to-face -face and you kind of use it manipulative so it's very difficult but um i'm also a school social worker for the department of education for the past three years uh, where i worked with kindergarten through eighth grade and recently i ventured into doing um corporate um with businesses about mental health and wellness for corporations and 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 then i also have the the celebrity side where i work with celebrity clients as well so again, I've been a therapist for over 10 years and my emphasis is encouraging black men to get mental health. So I started uh, 
a t-shirt line called Black Kings Need Therapy Too, which encourages black men to go to therapy. Um, so look out for a book coming next year. Trudy and I are actually starting a book about mental health in African-American community. So that's coming out next year as well. Congratulations on that, Aaron. I know some people are chiming in late, so I'll just kind of repeat what I said very quickly. With us going into the holiday season, I want you to watch your mask. The M stands for meat, the A stands for alcohol, the S stands for salt, and the other S stands for sugar. So we are going to move on, and we wanted to pull together um, how does mental, mental illness or how you feel relate to what you eat. And one of the things Aaron said is you are what you eat. So when you feel like you're mentally off, um, you should try to choose different options. So instead of laying in the bed and eating Twinkies and having cake and ice cream, how about getting some nuts and some fruit and snacking on nuts and fruit, which is gonna give you a little bit more protein and make your brain feel a little bit better. What do you wanna say about that, Aaron? What are your thoughts? Um, well, I totally agree, especially uh, during this particular time that we're in with the pandemic. Um, going on. People are definitely looking for comfort food. I know uh, Trudy told me today I had a little bit too much cookies um, recently because I've been snacking a lot more, <laughs> snacking a lot more recently. And I recognize it too because I'm looking for comfort. So I went to the supermarket, I bought Oreos, I bought Louisiana crunch cake, all these things I don't eat. And I'm recognizing that I'm looking for, I'm seeking comfort in these um, unhealthy snacks. So absolutely. Um, but then you don't feel good afterwards. After you eat it, you feel bloated. You don't even feel good afterwards, as opposed to having a banana or an orange. And ironically, I'm actually eating those things too. So I'm, I'm, I'm eating the cricket gill, which is, you know, the junk, and I'm eating the, um, the healthy foods in the, same, in the same token. So it's really about watching what you eat um, and, and try to have healthy items in the house. I feel like I tell my clients that if it's not in the house, you're going to be more inclined to, to eat junk. So make sure that you are buying healthier items. The internet is a wealth of knowledge in terms of what's some things that taste good and is healthy for you. So nuts is, is one great thing, um, fruit for sure. Um, or even, and then even try juicing. Juicing is very fun where you can experiment with different types of flavors and things and it tastes really good. And you need to add sugar or anything to it. Okay, good. So um, if you check out my social media page, I just recently did a video making beet carrot apple and ginger juice so you can check that i'm going to share the screen again just so you can see our social media handles so on facebook it's at decisions lc so decisions life coaching is the name of my business my instagram is at decisions lc and then aaron's facebook is at aaron muller lmsw and his instagram is at the black underscore therapist so we ask that you follow us like share comment on our um social media so the second thing I, I wanted Aaron to maybe start off talking about is holiday sadness. So some people obviously are very happy and very joyful because Thanksgiving is com um, coming, but there's also going to be a certain subset of people that are not going to be very happy during this holiday. So what do you want to say to the, um, the viewers on that, Aaron? So, so during the holidays can be a joyous time for some and can be a kind of a tough time for, for others. Uh, whether it is a lo you know loss of a loved one, loss of a job, you know financial issues, you know, and then it's current isolation that we're in. So during this time, just want you kind of be, you know take it easy on yourself. And I always tell my clients to give yourself grace, like allow yourself to go through that process of how you're feeling, but you know acknowledge it as well, um, ignoring it or trying to, to drown your sorrows in um, mass is not going to help you know going to help you. So First, acknowledge how you feel. And if you need to talk to someone, find someone you trust that you can talk to and process those feelings. But it is absolutely normal to feel sadness during this time of the year for a number of reasons. So um, try to connect to someone and try to minimize the isolation. Uh, so using this forum, using Zoom or phone or um, you know, texting, try to connect with someone and try to minimize that isolation during this time. Um, and even in terms of financial, in terms of you want to buy gifts and stuff, try to be creative in, 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 in your gift giving. I think people during this time is appreciating more thoughtful gifts. And you really, we really have time to think about creative ways to show our love during this time of year. 
Um, and if you need a therapist, definitely seek there's psychology today, which I'm going to put in the link, which is a great resource. If you realize that, you know what, I can't manage this, um, by myself or just talking to someone, I need someone, a professional, um, is definitely okay during this time of year to want to talk to somebody about whether grief or sadness, whatever you're going through. I also put suicide prevention in there and it's a 24 hour hotline. We know that with COVID uh, suicides are on the rise. So our goal for tonight is each one reach one. So when we first started, I asked you if you could take notes and I'm really going to be hopeful that you are going to tell somebody something that we mentioned tonight because that's the only way we're not going to perish. It's so much going on right now that everyone needs to be instrumental in telling someone something to save us, right? Yes. So the third thing I wanted to mention, Aaron, is let's talk about the relationship between mental illness and how people feel and um, what, what happens when people come to you and you realize they're having mental illness and what do you kind of suggest initially? So, so basically during the, um, initially when they walk in, we kind of complete an intake packet. Um, we kind of look through and see what their goals are, um, what they're looking to work on. And we kind of, div through the process of having sessions, we kind of find out um, and explore ways to get there. Kind of explore, now if there's any immediate um, symptoms, may it be like suicidality or, or kind of major depression, then we kind of treat that, kind of triage that first before we could kind of really start to unpack and process. So if there's really any immediate anxiety that's overwhelming, I have a client that's managing very bad anxiety right now um, with heart palpitations and ER visits and stuff. So we're really trying to manage that, those med you know, with medication, um, even though she doesn't really want it, but she realized that she have to need it, she needs it right now. Um, so really trying to deal with those symptoms first, and then we can start to um, really unpack and address the, 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 the long-term issues that she, or goals that she want to work on. So another thing that I wanted to mention, piggybacking on what Aaron says, is sometimes when people are having mental illness, it's not really the mental illness at all. It's what they eat. So for example, my son has autism, and I went through so many different dietary changes with him trying to help him. When he was younger, I got rid of the gluten in his diet. Now that he's older, I'm trying to get rid of the fat in his diet. So a lot of times when people are um, having ADD, ADHD, schizophrenia, psychosis, and all these different things, sometimes we need to do blood work. So I want you to kind of jot this down. Um, you may want the doctor to do hemoglobin, hematocrit, red blood cells. Those are some of the lab values that will make you feel weak, make you feel tired, make you feel weary. And to piggyback on what we said before, that's where your beet, carrot, and apple juice comes in to counteract those feelings because what do people usually do? They resort to sugar and candy, which is going to rebound those feelings. So um, one of the things that we said is, um, you know, you want to be very cautious about what it is that you're eating. So um, I wanted to talk quickly about the relationship of hypertension, diabetes, and obesity because one of the main things that's going on now is that we're, we're seeing a lot of African-Americans are dying disproportionately with COVID. And three of the main reasons is diabetes, hypertension, and obesity. Why are black people suffering with these three things? So they're telling us we're dying, but they're not telling us why. Number one is what we said before is the meat. Number two is the alcohol. Number three is the sugar. Number four is the salt. Number five, we don't clean out our colon. Just to you know, reiterate what we said before. The other thing I wanted to measure, and I mentioned I have a, a tape measure here, and this is obviously something from Home Depot, so this is not what you're going to use, but you are going to find a tape measure and you are going to measure your weight. And I want you to write this down that a female waist should not be bigger than 35. A female's waist should not be bigger than 35. A man's waist should not be bigger than 40, right? So now, when you have a bigger waist, you are two times more likely to get diabetes mellitus and you are five times more likely to have heart disease. So what does that say? That says that obesity is linking us to the diabetes and the hypertension and the heart disease. And now we're dying more of COVID because of those comorbidities. So how do we stop the vicious cycle, the meat, the alcohol, the sugar, the salt? So there is a cure that's not you know, really being told. They're just saying, oh, African-Americans are dying in COVID because they have hypertension and heart disease. 
well, why don't you educate us and let us know what we should do and what we should not do so we could stop the hypertension and stop the heart disease and stop the obesity, right? Okay, so without further ado, we are going to play a game and it's gonna be lots of fun, I promise you. So I need you to take out your phone. And what I want you to do in your phone, I want you to go to, I'm gonna put it in the chat. You're gonna to go to Kahoot.it. Kahoot.it, I just put it in the chat. And when you get in Kahoot.it, it's going to ask you for a PIN number. And that PIN number, you're going to put in 399-2023. I just put that in the chat. So we're taking out our phone. If you're already on the phone, you're probably not going to be able to play. But if you're on a computer or a laptop, take out your phone. You're going to go to Kahoot.it. Kahoot.it. And you're going to put in the PIN number that I put in the chat. 3992023 and I'm about to set up the game and we are going to play and we are going to have fun. I am so excited. What, what? Okay, look in the chat. Kahoot that it and now it's on the screen. Let me know if you can see my screen. Most people are already in. So Kahoot that it and put in your pin number. Austin, I saw you said hello. Good evening to Austin Yee, one of my former students from I don't know how many years. Austin, put in the chat when I was your teacher. I don't even know. I know it's been a long, long time. So how long has it been, Austin? Someone mentioned their friend is in the waiting room, but I don't see anyone in the waiting room, so they may not be logged into the correct meeting. Whoever told me their friend is waiting. Keisha. Um, I don't see anybody in the waiting room. So class of 2001, Austin, so it has been 19 years since, I, um, it's so nice to see you. I'm glad you logged in tonight. Okay, so um, is everyone logged in and ready to go? Let me know in the chat. So let me explain to you how this game works. There's gonna be approximately eight or nine questions, right? And when, I, when the question comes up, you are going to use your phone to click the answer, but what you're gonna be doing is clicking the color of the answer. So I have to tell you that this game not only works with accuracy, but it also works with speed. So you can get everything right, but if you're slow, you're not gonna be the winner. So at the end, it's gonna show us the top three winners and I am going to send the winner an Amazon $25 gift card. So that's gonna be really fun. However, the winner cannot be my family member because my family members know all the answers. So I'm looking for a winner that is not my family and I will be sending a $25 gift card to the first place person. And if I get excited, I may send the second place person a Target card and if I get really happy, I may do a Walmart card. So let's play. Okay, here we go. While we're playing, there's going to be music going. Just let me know in the chat if you understand how to play and if you're ready. I see my sister says she's ready, but she is disqualified because she is my <laughs> sister. So you can forget it, Molly. Okay, so let's get ready to go. We're getting ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Now the computer wants to act up. You know how it goes. Aaron, man the chat for me because I'm not really seeing what everyone yeah, saying. Yeah, everybody's saying they're ready. Everybody's ready. Okay, let me stop the share and then let me restart again. I apologize for the little technical difficulties. Okay, here we go. Get ready to rumble. Okay. And everything on this chat is stuff that I said. That's why I told you to take notes. All right, let's get ready to go. Now, 
several of you got that wrong. When we first started talking, I said I have been a nurse for 33 years. Let's move on to question number two. So right now the winner is KJ followed by Ronnie, who's my dad. Nope. Followed by my <laughs> sister. Nope. Followed by Wes and Quick Wombat. So KJ is first, West is second, and Quick Wombat is third, because my dad and my sister do not count, even though they can still play. <laughs> All right, get ready. Aaron Muller. <laughs> Okay, Aaron had mentioned that he's been a therapist for 10 years. So our winner now, Wes is first, Will is second, Quick Wombat is third, and Make It Happen is fourth. All right, next. Oh, wow. That must be the people that came late. So remember we said our mnemonic. We want to watch what kind of meat we eat. Just for those of you that came in late, we want to eat meatless meat. We want it to be um, soy free. We want it to be gluten free. We want it to be non-genetically modified. I'm just going through this quickly for those that were late. We said the rest, if we do eat meat, we want no steroids. We want no preservatives. And we also said when we do chicken, we want it to be free range chicken. We want it to be no hormones. We want it to be no antibiotics. Quick review. Then I said, we want to be careful with the alcohol. We don't want to be drinking too much alcohol. Maybe if you have red wine once in a while, it's acceptable. We said that alcohol leads to depression. It leads to anxiety. Then we said in terms of our salt, we want to switch to Himalayan salt but the Himalayan salt doesn't have enough iodine, so you may need to get additional iodine in your diet. And lastly, we talked about the sugar. We said we wanna to switch to xylitol because it's better with the highs and lows for your glucose level. So that's just a quick review. The correct answer is the yellow, the meat, the alcohol, the salt, and the sugar, and you are going to teach your family members this before Thanksgiving. Watch your mass, meat, alcohol, sugar, and salt. And what was the other thing I said? Clean your colon occasionally. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so West is in first place. Quick Wombat, make it happen, and my family is falling off the map. Okay, 100%. So, I mean, as a nursing educator, that makes me so happy because I know that learning is taking place. So we said the two common disorders that have a high disparity rate in African Americans are diabetes and hypertension, and all 19 of you got it correct. So either I'm a very good instructor or you guys are very good students, or we're <laughs> just the bomb combined. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so African Americans have the highest rate of death right now for COVID, so that statement is true. Make it happen. I don't know who that is, but they say you can't catch me. Followed by Quick Wombat, West, Will, and Lucretia, my sister. Okay. <laughs> So the answer 
answer is five. And those of you that came on time, I had mentioned that, that I have started five businesses in my lifetime. So the first business started in 1991. That was a daycare called Start Smart. And then I realized that I really didn't want to deal with children. The second business started in 2003. That was Ready to Pass, which I still do. And what I do is train nurses to pass the state boards. The third business started in 2014. That's Transitions Career Institute School of Nursing, where it's an LPN school in Flushing, Queens. The fourth business I started last year called JDOM Investments, and that's a real estate investment company. And my fifth business I started this year is known as Decisions Life Coaching. So the correct answer is five. So if you've been sitting on a business, you have business ideas, I will be the perfect coach to train you because I've been there, done that, and got a t-shirt. So hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on Facebook, go to my um, website, decisionslc.com, and let's get this business up and popping. Everybody is not crying because of COVID. So while we're in the corner hoovering about to lose our house and go into foreclosure, there's a whole subset of people that are about to take your house. So let me talk to you and let's get on the other side of the financial network. Everybody's not crying during COVID, trust me. That's right. Okay, so we are moving on. Let's work together, let's network, let's make some power moves, let's get this money right. We have to stick together. Okay, moving on. All right, we did it again, Aaron. 100% correct. Nice. So they Very are good. listening. So we said that initially when you drink alcohol, you feel good, you get a little woozy, you you know, you feel wonderful, and then when you wake up in the morning and your blood glucose drops, then the anxiety and depression sets in and then you're wondering what's going on. So you have to be very careful over the holidays with the alcohol. Yes, very careful. Okay. Two All more right. questions. Devon is in the lead. So I'm going to have to reteach this point. I mentioned when you're feeling tired, we should check the hemoglobin, which is the oxygen carrying component of the blood. We're going to check the hematocrit, which tells us the relationship of red blood cells to circulating blood volume. And we're going to check our red blood cells, which when the red blood cells is low, it makes us anemic. Five of you said urine and stool, but the urine and stool is not really going to help us too much when we're feeling tired. Sometimes you can have blood in your urine that can make you tired, but it's not necessarily a diagnostic test. And the troponin and CKMB is going to tell us when you had a heart attack. So those are two labs that will be drawn if you go to the hospital complaining of chest pain will be your troponin and your CKMB. And nobody picked the ALT and AST. Those lab values are done when you have liver problems. The ALT and the AST is going to be all to, you know, off when you have liver problems. So we are doing a lot of learning tonight. I'm very excited to be passing on this free information. And Aaron and I would love to do this again in December. And the next time you're going to tell your friend to tell your friend to tell your friend. So we're like at 35, the next time we're going to be at 115. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so we have somebody else taking over the board. So third place is Ashley. Second place is Danny. And first place is Make It Happen. Congratulations to all the women. Yeah, so let's identify ourselves, and this is going to be a question and answer period. Ashley, I'm going to assume, is Ashley Smith, which is one of my former students. Am I correct, Ashley? Unmute yourself. And yes, it is. And the only reason why I didn't win is because I was playing on my phone, and I'm on Zoom on my phone. So I have to switch back from the internet to the Zoom to see the questions. That's the only reason why I didn't win. Okay, Ashley. Yes, it's me. Say friends and nobody that knows me, but I'm going to see what I can do. You. So Ashley, what year were you my student? Oh geez. Uh I don't I don't know. 
that was like maybe 20 years ago. Okay, so she was my student 20 years ago and she's now in our rent. Who was Danny? Identify yourself, Danny, in second place. Who was Danny? Please identify yourself. I can't, I can't. I'm over here playing with Devon, so we're, I'm under make oh, it happen. So oh, I don't oh. think we should get two. Yeah, we only oh, get one. Oh, congratulations! Oh, oh those are my friends, um, Devon, Devon and Danielle. And Danielle. They, recently, they recently got married. Got married. Congratulations. congratulations! We're actually we're actually on our honeymoon, so we're not, <laughs> we're not gonna take two. <laughs> congratulations, guys! Thanks, Ash. So, so oh, husband, so husband and wife won. Hi, Miss Smith. Okay. Oh hey, oh hey, Charlene, how you doing? How you doing, Aaron? Good. I started the game, but I wasn't logged in, so I just kind of watched you guys. Oh, thank you, thank you. So, so it's only one winner for the first because Dan, Danny is his wife, and Mister Make It and Make Make It Happen is the husband. So. so this is what I'm gonna do for my first and second place honeymooners. You guys are gonna get two gift cards. Tell me which two you want. Unmute yourself. And who wants to spend their honeymoon night with me? I gotta give you two gift cards. Come on, tell me which two you want. I have Walmart, I have Target, and I have Amazon. What two do you want? That's not fair, they cheated. <laughs> they, they, don't know me. they don't know me. That's all right, I know them, they cheated. <laughs> Put it in the chat. We can't hear you even. Which one you want? Which one you want, Devon? Devon? Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah. Which one you want? Don and the and the target one, but we're gonna we're, we're gonna give one away because we have a lot of clients, so we want to shout out everybody that's on that uh that's a part of my business, Moving Tone Fitness. Um, so we're gonna give one of the cards away because uh we have a couple. Maybe she can do a bonus question. You I'll send the cards to Alan. You get. How do you answer? Ashley Smith, you send me your address and you got the Walmart card. So now right. in trying to be respectful with everyone's time because I do want to end at 10 because it's late, people have to go to work. I have people in different countries that are on different time zones and I absolutely appreciate, appreciate everyone coming. I want to tell you one more thing and then I'm going to open up for 10 minutes of questions and then we'll be done. So what I want to tell you now is the other thing that we did not talk about tonight was exercise, exercise. So I want to give you two resources that you can use to exercise. So COVID is no excuse. Oh, I can't get outside. Oh, I can't go to the gym. That is no excuse. The first one I have over here, and you can take notes if you want. You could take a picture of it with your phone. It's fine because I know it's a lot to write and I'm not going to be able to tell you everything. The first one is 2-1 Life Fitness. The name of the owner is Nicole Elmore. And this is online training. She does Zumba, she does HIT, she does Tabata, she does personal training. Her Facebook hashtag is at 2-1 Life Zumba. Her Instagram is at 2-1 Life Trainer. Her website is 2-1 Life forward slash book online and I have been working with Nicole since 2014 approximately when I first found out that I had cancer and I needed to change my life. Um, um, after COVID, I don't go to the gym anymore, but Nicole's platform is $10 a month and you can exercise 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So there is no reason why you cannot exercise when you join her platform and she is amazing. And what's crazy about it is the other young, and Nicole is based out of Georgia. The other Nicole that I'm about to tell you about on the right hand side, she is based out of New York. So with me traveling with the different businesses, when I am in Georgia, sometimes I would be with one Nicole. And when I go to New York, I would cheat and be with the other Nicole. But Nicole Hicks, she is the bomb. And not only is she the bomb, she also does Instagram, Facebook, websites. And we said we're all about networking. So if you have a business and you need somebody to run your website and your social media, you want to reach out to Nicole Hicks. Her website is NicoleHicksFitness.com. 
She does Zumba. She does dance sculpt. She does personal training. Her Facebook is at Nicole Hicks Fitness. Her, her Instagram is at Nicole Hicks Fitness. And I just want to share the wealth. I want us to be a family. I want us to network. I want us to keep the business flowing. If you know someone that has a business, that has a business, that has a business, let's share it. Let's get together. Let's build wealth like everyone else does. We don't need to be separated. So with that being said, we're going to open. Wait, wait, hold on, Rhonda. I want to, um, I want to add the, Devon. Devon is also a personal trainer just to make it happen. Okay. So I added his um, IG handle. He's from New York and he does great fitness and he does it with Calypso and Soka and all of them things. Okay. So, yeah, so, and it's awesome. And he does healthy eating and all of that meal prep, all of that stuff. All right, so I'm a success story. Sorry? I'm a success story. Yep. Char yeah, Char Charlene, yeah. I made it happen, yes. From two Nicole's, because I am 25 pounds lighter than I was five years ago. So it's not just the diet, it's the exercise as well. So open up the microphone and let's talk for five minutes and then we'll be done follow us on social media instagram facebook share like comment and be ready for body and soul part two in december and remember each one teach one so anyone have questions or comments put it in the chat or open up your microphone now let's talk about it please do and devon offered a free online class to anyone on this call tonight so uh con you could contact him and get not only did you work on your on your mind and your body, but you also have the opportunity to have a free online class to get your body right for 2021. So take your up that opportunity. He offered um, a free online class, and and if you really walk up a sweat, right? Is it called walk? It's called walk W U K. So you walk up a sweat. That's Calypso. <laughs> Count to that with my two Nicole's. My Nicole in Atlanta and my Nicole in Georgia is also going to give a free class. I didn't confirm that with them, but I'm putting it out there. So anybody else want to say anything before we leave tonight? Tell us what you what you learned. Tell us what were your thoughts, any comments? What would you like to see if we do this again? Open up your microphone. What did you learn? What would you like to see if we do this again? Open up your microphones. Any questions or comments? Somebody said, yes, he's my trainer. Any other comments, put it in the chat. Any questions? Very informative. What is our mnemonic that we're gonna avoid over this holiday season? Put it in the chat for me. What's our mnemonic that we learned? Mass, the meat, the alcohol, the sugar, and the salt. Excellent job. Thank you, Austin. Very informative. Thank you, Keisha. Wellness during the holidays. Anyone else have any final thoughts and comments? So I'm very big on punctuality. So if there's no one else that has anything to say, we are going to end and we will see you next time. Thumbs up and we thank you for us. All right, all the best and happy holidays and watch your mask. Bye.